Hello, this is Tate with Black Bear Outdoors. Um, today we're going to be talking about installing some of the Tech T bolt and spring kit in your Mini. Now, on our Mini, we already have our, you know, our J&J barrel, which we're big fans of. We already have the, the iFit kit on here, which we love. The one thing we had some troubles with was getting it adjusted and changing the dwell, which really is what's helping us get our pressure down so we're running a more efficient gun. So what we wanted to kind of show you was one, show you how to change your dwell, two, tell you what some of the things we had problems with to kind of make it so we dropped it down. Once we figured it out, it was really super simple and the guys at Tech were awesome. So they were able to really kind of help us get it all down. Now my Mini going from about a 200 PSI gun all the way down to about 150, 140 PSI gun. So saving a lot of air that way. And we would change our dwell and brought that down and still running really efficiently. Now I'm going to have Kelly move in here so she can, get, so we can kind of see a little closer on what we're going to have to do here. Now, first thing is, take off your hopper. Now I've already pulled out our bolt here on the bottom. Now the mini's super easy to take apart. We've got the little bolt that's on the bottom. Just unscrew that guy. Now sometimes they pop right out so it's best to keep your finger over the back and just I use a screwdriver because mine kind of sticks in there a little bit and we're going to pull this guy out and if you just angle your drive just a little bit the whole thing comes out. Now I've already installed the bolt, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of the two different bolts that are available. You know, this is the stock one. This is the one I chose. You save about 30% when you go to this guy and about 60% on weight when you go to the Duron bolt. I kind of like the aluminum bolt. It looks kind of a little cooler, so made it a little easier to see it when it was working in the gun, too. Now, so really similar. They also make one for the T. Uh, the TM7 and the TM15, great bolts and guns too. So just taking that out, we drop a little bit of weight, a little faster bolt, which brings up the speed by itself right there. But the biggest notice we got was from taking the spring kit and taking the, the stock spring and dropping it down to one of the lighter, the lighter springs. Now they come in a three spring kit. Now the way that we kind of go with it to a starting point is if you're using the stock bolt to use the heaviest spring to use their aluminum bolt you kind of use their middle grade spring and to use their ultralight Duron bolt use their lightweight spring and you just got to kind of crush them in your fingers and you realize real quick which one's stiffer than the other so it just takes just a second to figure it out. I kind of liked, I liked a little bit faster recoil. On my gun, it seemed to work a little bit with the heavier spring. Even their heaviest spring is quite a lot softer than the actual spring that goes in the regular mini, about half the weight. So I was really impressed with how much speed I got out of that. Just installing the spring and the bolt, I gained about 30 feet per second, which was a great advantage for me because I, I'm a back player. I use lots of air. And some of the fields around here only have 3,000 PSI fills. Now, when you're installing it, taking a little little lube, and this one's already been pretty much lubed up. But what you're going to want to do, just run your hand along it, put a little lube on the side here where the spring's going to go on. The spring only goes on one way. So you want to slide it on, and it should clip. And see how that one doesn't fall off? If you slide it on the opposite direction, you'll see it just falls right off. So it is indexed on one side, so you can clip it on. So now once you've got this guy in here, and you're going to go ahead and slide your bolt in. Your bolt, super simple installation, of course. There's a little hole in your bolt. That guy lines up with a little pin on top of your gun. So you want to go ahead and slide that guy in. Go ahead and put your bolt back in. Now this is a standard gun, gun, so everything you put in has to be standard thread, which is really important. Now one problem I had on my gun was this guy's really sharp right here, so I just wrap it with tape. So if some of you guys are having that problem, getting that little indentation all the way across your hand, a lot of guys just wear gloves. I just wrap it with, with a little, little bit of tape. Okay, 
Now, the biggest problem we had was we couldn't get the dwell to go down or the pressure to go down until we did one thing that was really super simple, but it took us a minute. I'd already adjusted right here. There's basically three ways you adjust your air. You have your air regulator, your dwell, which is your electronic amount, how much the uh, chamber is actually opening to let air in time-wise, and it's done in milliseconds. And the actual block off right here, this allows your poppet to only open certain amounts, and that also will fluctuate your, your uh, feet per second. So back this guy out so it's flush. That's the first thing you have to do. The second thing, and this is going to be a little harder to see, so we're going to tell people, right here inside the gun is a little tiny button and it is right here. You'll see it, and sometimes you just gotta kinda follow it around. When the gun is off, you're going to wanna hit that guy three times to get it into your mode for doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead, and you watch for this light up here. We wanna see the orange light. So we're gonna hit it one, two, three times. It's gonna turn, oh, we missed it that time. So hang on just a second. It's gotta go through its whole code here. Looks like I only hit it twice. But you want to hit it three times real solid. It's going to turn orange. So we're going to hit it one more time. One, two, three times. See how it turns orange solid? And then it's going to flash the 28 times. 28 times is basically what they're considering seven milliseconds. Now the company recommends you go down to eight milliseconds or even seven milliseconds. Since it's set standard, what they're talking about is they're talking about that this never actually bottoms out to a true. It's really shooting nine milliseconds because even at zero on here, zero flashes, you're going to be set at a. Um, you're really going to be set at two milliseconds. So what we want to do is we want to hit it the button three times. It's going to flash when it's flashing orange. When it's solid, you're going to want to hit your power button four times. That will bring it down to the factory specs at seven, down to six milliseconds. That's what I have mine set at. It seems to work really well. You can bring it all the way down to five milliseconds on your gun, and but you have to do this while it's happening. And it takes four. It's done in quarters. So you take the amount of flashes and times it by 0.25, and that gets you your milliseconds. So it starts out at 20, 28, you times that by 0.25, gets you 7. You want to see it around 24, which gets you around 6. Once that happens, and like I said, you have to hit it three times, and while it's solid, hit the power button. Then go ahead and hit your, um, now if you want to go up, like let's say you've gone down too far, and the way you can tell that is by chronoing it, and noticing it's jumping all over the place. The mini is super accurate and super consistent. So it allows you to really be very, very consistent while you're shooting and only having about a one to two PSI difference. So once we've set this, now we can go ahead and shoot our gun. Now with the iFit kit, having it slot, you know, backed all the way out and hit, having it at six milliseconds, I was getting and having it set about 200 PSI, I was shooting about 350 feet per second. So it was really, really hot. Then taking your kit, your Allen wrench, and just turning your pressure down, they've had guys turn these all the way down to about 125 pounds, really working well. I got mine down to about 150. If you drop your milliseconds a little bit more, you can bring the pressure down even more. So like I said, right around that five, you're really good. So just keep that in mind. Install the bolt, install your spring. I recommend doing them both at the same time. Definitely run the iFit kit. We noticed a good 30 feet per second faster on that. That was awesome. And then making sure when you're setting it down, just remember those. It says it in your book, so make sure you're going by your book. And then adjust your pressure down last, and you can bring that gun right down. So this has been, I hope this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact us at Black Bear Outdoors, blackbearoutdoors.net, or um, leave a message on here, and we will see you guys next time.